Hey guys, welcome back to another Cajun toy review. And today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Shadow Cat and our Kitty Pride, whichever you prefer. But yeah, this is a figure that I had for a little bit. I've been meaning to do and we're doing it now. But this figure looks fantastic. Uh, this is the figure, one of the figures I was most anticipating in this wave. But yeah, we'll be doing them in order. So she is the next one up, and we're we'll gonna knock this out and build this Colossus because he does look sick. And I've waited too long to build this guy, so let's get this done. So, looking at this package, it is classic Marvel Legends the black box. We have the Age of Apocalypse logo on the top. We can see our Shadow Cat in there, and looking awesome. Now, there is a variant of her that has different eyebrows. Uh, I think it was like one of the maybe overseas shipment or some of them i don't know but there is ones that have black eyebrows uh this is the brown eyebrow one which is kind of the default which is the one that most people prefer because it does look natural it matches our hair color uh i've seen them both and i do prefer the brown so uh she does come with some claws and some extra hands we'll take a look at all of that but yeah x-men logo Marvel's Shadow Cat. On the side, we got a crazy looking picture of Shadow Cat showing her claws, of course, the Apocalypse Medicine in the back. On the back, we have a nice bigger picture of that art. And man, look at the, look at the all the detail and the muscles. And man, you can see her bones. It looks crazy. But a little bit of read up. After being captured by Sabretooth, Captain Pr Catherine Pride becomes the youngest member of the X Men and trains to become the team's ghost assassin and here is the other figures in the wave we've already done magneto rogue cyclops and saber tooth so we are on to shadow cat and there's our builder figure we have several pieces we're almost done we just got two more figures left upc on the bottom guys if you need always in the shots at the end so without anything else let's open this up and take a look at our shadow cat so shadow cat comes with two sets of hands and these claw attachments that are interchangeable so she does have this kind of grasping hand uh, for her left hand which is uh, I don't know what she's supposed to hold with this she doesn't really come with anything but I guess she can use this to hold a, a beer or something um, but yeah it's it looks good the blue paint on it looks really nice uh, the skin tone is really good I think on it you can kind of see the fingernails on it but it's a little heavy actually on the floor almost too heavy on the skin right there is like it looks like something I, I painted myself but uh it does have a hinge on it so that's a plus but i love that blue that blue looks fantastic and then for her right hand she kind of has this open hand slapping hand or whatever you want um snatching hand but again it looks really nice with the blue uh a little heavy again on the fingers but they're all there so that's good too like you can see the fingernails there, but they just really paint it. It's really thick on there, which I guess I'd be complaining if it wasn't thick enough and the blue was showing. So I guess that's uh, the counterbalance for that. But and then these fisted hands, which man, that yeah, that that flesh <laughs> flesh tone is really thick. But again, they look good. The blue again looks great and hinged. So do we have these? And these are these little gauntlets that go on her hands, uh, on her wrist. And uh, if you've read the comics or seen the Age of Apocalypse comics or not, uh, these are where her claws come from because she does not have claws like Wolverine. So they actually have these mechanisms that are on her wrist which have retractable claws. And she's pretty much a badass in the Age of Apocalypse story, much different than she, you normally see her in uh, incarnations. But yeah, and that one she was... She was almost kind of think of an X-23 almost where she's like just a little mini Wolverine badass and she was really cool. Um, and I like the way she looks. I like the character design on her. It was kind of neat. But so, yeah, two of these and two claws. And I got to heat this one up. It's a little bit warped. But so you would take your Kitty Pride or your Shadow Cat, I should say, and you just kind of put that on which hand you like. And then you pour it in the hand you want and say you want to do one or the other and that's kind of how that looks depending on what look you want so yeah I think it's really cool uh, I don't think of anything else they would she could have came with um, you know so yeah uh, 
I think it looks really good. Like I said, I just got to put some heat on that, but I like it. So let's take a look at our figure. And looking at our Shadow Cat figure, I think she looks amazing. I love the color scheme on this figure so, so much. I think that blue really pops uh, against her skin tone and stuff like that. And I just think she is just a fun figure. Uh, this is probably my favorite Shadow Cat now. Uh, I still have to review the Excalibur one. But I think for uh, that, the, what she looked like in Age of Apocalypse, they nailed it. Um, and yeah, nice new female arms, pinless arms, and uh, pinless legs. That looks so good. Oh, a little bit of blue paint right there. But yeah, look at this face. This is a really, really good face. Like I said, there is a variant of this that has uh, black eyebrows. Um, and this is the more natural one. It matches her hair. And I think this one looks really good. So you can look online and you can find the other one. I don't have it. And I don't really need it or want it. Uh, it's, that's a, such a minor difference to me. Now, if I had the black one, maybe I would want the brown just to kind of match, but not the other way around. But yeah, look at her hair. It looks really nice. A lot of texture in there. Uh, that kind of uh, pixie cut looks really cool. Like how it kind of, she's got the wing kind of flips up on there. And her eyes look really awesome. Look at the lips. She had a big, little, full, beautiful lips. And, man, that is a good ear. Look at that ear. But, yeah, a uh, nice collar on her. Um, neck looks a little long, but it could just be, like, the way that, with the collar looks on there. Um, but, yeah, really good skin tone. Some cleavage going on. Um, sh shoulder straps and stuff like that. Yeah, she's straight out of the 80s, man. This is really cool i guess that's why i like her and then of course the blue suit with the, the line work on it and the texture and stuff looks really cool looks like something like apocalypse or something like that um material and that might be what it, it's some kind of the same suit thing it's been forever since i read that comic i need to go back and do it uh she's got this floating belt which also looks really cool with the pouches on it and of course the x symbol on the chest and it just kind of works the way down there's really not much to say about the leg a little bit of marbling but it doesn't look bad on this figure at all it doesn't bother me one bit um peg holes on the bottom of her feet so yeah i think she looks awesome she is fun to pose uh, i've done a few poses already for some shots and i think she is really cool she probably when i finish with the wave i'm gonna say which ones are my favorite but we might have a contender for number one right here so let's take a look at her articulation on our shadow cat she can look up about this much she can look down crazy good oh yeah man we got nice pivot on that head nice and full rotation if you want arm rotation there is no bicep cut she's got some guns on there um single jointed elbows which sucks but they're pinless which drives me crazy why do they do that and we have flex on the wrist with rotation she's got a little bit of an ab crunch you kind of see the spacing right there but it's not a whole lot stick it out stick it out um no waist rotation she has no waist rotation okay that's gonna take a point away that is crazy can't believe there's no waist rotation that is one solid piece I mean, you can rotate on there, but who wants to do that? <laughs> All right, so she can do a split about this far. I'll drop down, she can kick pretty good. Mm -hmm. Thigh cut, look like it wasn't there, but it's nice. It's segmented with the line, so it looks really good. That's a good way to hide it. Uh, double jointed knee, spacing on it's not too bad at all. We have flex on the ankle. Like I said, again, peg holes on the bottom of the beats. So yeah, and not having double joint elbows sucks. Um, especially with a newer, like original mold like that. I don't understand why they didn't do it, but that is just Hasbro. So yeah, I like it. I think it's a good figure. Uh, the claw, the way they did the claws is really, really awesome. Uh, I think the paint job on her is really cool. Uh, I dig the sculpt and stuff. I think she's fine. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you're on the fence or you're thinking about it i think it's a good figure to get so if you like this video please leave a like check out our other content consider subscribing 
Uh, we do Marvel Legends, DC, NECA, uh, everything else in between. I do request. Uh, right now, I'm doing Marvel Legends from 2002 to current. I'm doing shorts for each one of the figures that I own, which is a crazy amount. Especially when we start getting to like, I think like 2014. It's pretty much going to be almost every figure. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out and let me know uh, what you think about it. You can find this on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search for Cajun Toy Review. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash uh, Toy Review. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.